Hey guys, I device help here and big day today for Apple announcing and releasing new software as well as hardware. Now Apple today announced iOS 13.2 to everyone worldwide. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad or even a HomePod, iOS 13.2 is now available. And yes, the HomePod finally receives an update that will support all the new features from audio sharing and handoff with iOS. So a ton of information to talk about. Now, as I mentioned, Apple today also released new hardware. So if you're expecting new AirPods, Apple today announced AirPods Pro with active noise cancellation, a new transparency mode, adaptive EQ, custom ear tips, force sensors with H1 chip and Hey Siri support, as well as IPX4 water resistance, which is new as well, wireless charging, improved sound for $249, and they will be made available for purchase on October the 30th. Let's talk about the software released today, Apple release 13.2. Again, to everyone worldwide, if you have an iPhone or an iPad or even the HomePod, it is currently available with a ton of new features, which I'm going to go over here momentarily. Of course, you can find the software update under software for updates and settings. If you have the beta profile, just scroll down, remove the beta profile, reboot your iPhone, and then head on over to software updates and you'll see the final build. But that's only if you have the beta profile. So iOS 13.2 on the HomePod now brings the recognition of multiple voices. So if you have uh, multiple people in the house, of course it recognizes a different users. So to read your messages specifically. So voice recognition is here. Handoff for music, for podcasts, for calls in combination with with the iPhone is now available. So if we head on over to settings right here under the AirPlay and handoff, we see that transfer to HomePod. It's a new feature available for the HomePod as well as iOS. So when you get home, you're listening to music, you can hold your iPhone next to the HomePod and that content will transfer over seamlessly. You also have the ability to add music to HomeKit scenes as well. You have new relaxing high quality sounds from when you go to bed. This is something I wanted as well. And you have a sleep timer uh, to fall asleep with music or ambient sound. So the new software update would happen automatically once you update to iOS 13.2 on your iPhone, unless you don't have automatic updates activated for HomePod, which I don't, but most users do because it is on by default. So iOS 13.2 on the iPhones and iPads brings improvements to Siri and dictation. If we head on over to settings here, and we head on over to Siri and search. You now have a new tab here where you can manage your history. Delete the Siri and dictation history directly from there. We also have additional features on iOS 13.2 such as a redesign, new way to edit and delete applications directly from the home screen as you can see here. So I'm gonna remove this iPhone here. As you can see there, we now have a new delete button here on the home screen and a new edit home screen right there extension for 3D touch or long presses here for hectic touch on the new iPhone 11. We also have the announced messages with Siri. So they finally made it to iOS 13.2 and you can find this under the notifications. Scroll down to messages. And this is where you can find the new announce messages with Siri. I talked about this feature where it reads the messages to you. You have your options right there. So that's new also with iOS 13.2. As I mentioned, transfer to HomePod, a new feature under the generals tab right here. It is under AirPlay in handoff. You have these new options here to play around with and transfer content to the HomePod using your iPhone or iPad. Improvements to air sharing. So air sharing is now fully featured on iOS 13.2. I can't wait to fully test the software of course you guys can anticipate my follow-up video here in the next couple of days where i'll go in deeper dive into the software talk about the new AirShare feature, how everything is working, if there's any bugs or any problems. I'll be talking about that here in the next 24 to 48 hours after I use the software. Also, they transfer music and content to HomePod, something I'll be testing thoroughly. New emojis are now available on iOS 13.2 and also a new emoji picker is also available for when you go to select couples, right here it is. So you can go ahead and select multiple uh, couples with different skin tones, different genders. So that's also new with iOS 13.2. And Deep Fusion for the new iPhones is now available. So if you haven't watched my Deep Fusion coverage, a really cool feature for iOS 13.2. But yes, the software is out right now for everyone worldwide, as I mentioned, the HomePod, the iPhones, and the iPads for iOS 13.2. Stay tuned for my follow-up, as I mentioned, in the next 24 to 48 hours on iOS 13.2, where I talk about the battery, the performance, and take a deeper dive, as I mentioned, into some of the new features here, like audio sharing and the transfer content to HomePod, which I'll be testing thoroughly. I hope you guys enjoy this very quick update. Be sure to subscribe for the follow-up here coming shortly, and I'll see you guys real soon.
Peace.